This has a wide origin from the infraspinous fossa. This muscle is in front of pinnatus. This orbit also they are ascending up like this, and they are reaching and inserting here onto this. You know, this is the tubercle of humerus, greater tubercle of humerus. So this infraspinatus is attached on the middle impression of the greater tubercle, and middle impression pe infraspinatus is attached. So this about the action about this muscle infraspinatus. It will be same as there is minor. Both the muscles are having a nearly the same pattern of fibers reaching to insert onto the greater tubercle. So this will also help in lateral rotation of the humerus at the shoulder joint. There will be the nerve supply for infraspinatus. Remember, there was the nerve supply arising from the upper trunk of brachial plexus. What was that nerve arising from the upper trunk of brachial plexus? There were two nerves arising. What were the nerves arising from the upper trunk of brachial plexus? The suprascapular nerve. And if it's a choice like an MCQ form, which of the following nerve takes origin from the upper trunk of brachial plexus? And the choices are long thoracic nerve of well, dorsal scapular nerve, suprascapular nerve, nerve to subclavius. So what will you mark? Which of the following is a nerve taking origin from the upper trunk of brachial plexus? The choices are dorsal scapular nerve, long thoracic nerve of bell, suprascapular nerve, nerve to subclavius. So the answer will be suprascapular nerve. So now at this point, remember that nerve to subclavius occasionally takes origin from the roots of C5, C6. Okay. This is consistently taking origin from the upper trunk, suprascapular nerve. So suprascapular nerve it uh, descends down from this uh, uh, upper trunk and it reaches laterally along the upper part of the scapula. And then at the suprascapular notch, this is the you know upper border. This is supraspinatus. Here deep inside will be the upper border of the scapula. There will be a ligament, suprascapular ligament binding the notch, so it converts into a foramen. So N4 nerve, N4 niche, any below the ligament. So suprascapular nerve passes below the suprascapular ligament, and suprascapular artery passes above to the ligament. So then that nerve, suprascapular nerve, will supply this supraspinatus. It will also supply the chromioclavicular joint. It will also supply the shoulder joint, and then it will wind here. You know this spine of scapula. This acromion, between acromion and glenoid cavity, there is a notch, glenoid-spinoid notch. From there, the suprascapular nerve descends down, and then it supplies this muscle infraspinatus. So the nerve supply of infraspinatus is suprascapular. Remember this: both the muscles above and below the nerve supply is suprascapular nerve. Action uh, about this infraspinatus. I told you, along with teres minor, it will help in lateral rotation of the humerus at the shoulder joint.